guys today we are going to see digital circuits week 12 this is the last assignment for july november 2023 session and this is benila push and pop operations are performed by stack pointer register which interrupt in the 8085 microprocessor remains unaffected by the state of the interrupt enable flip flop it's trapped because it is non moskable which of the following statement regarding call and return state instruction is false so here 8085 program can have multiple call and then multiple in, uh, ret return instruction right so normally first the call will be appear and then return will be appear next right so this instruction so here the first call instruction may appear before the return instruction so this is also true so this is the only instruction so which comes under the false category so the first return instruction may appear before the call instruction this is false men match the item so uh, match the items of column x and column y so this is the characteristics of interrupt so intr so intr is a non vectored interrupt as it is a hardware interrupt and here it is rst 5.5 So this RST 5.5 is maskable interrupt. So 5.5, 6.5, and 7.5 is a maskable interrupt. And trap is a non-maskable interrupt because it is unaffected. And uh, since it is a non-maskable, it is unaffected by interrupt enable. And RST 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all are uh, software interrupt. So X uh, 1, Y 4, X 2, Y 2. X3, Y1, and X4, Y3. Which of the following pins in 8086 microprocessor are multiplexed with a, uh, a data and address signal? So in 8086, it has 16-bit address data and then 20 address lines. So AD0 to AD15 is the multiplexed. Identify the operations performed by the push operation. So here the top of the stack will be there. So here push BC, you know. so here the content of the bc will be pushed into the stack here so b and then c will is our first c and then b will be pushed next push d so dc register pair so e content will be pushed and then your d content will be pushed here now pop b so here whatever the content is there in d will be pushed popped into a c register and then e to your b register and pop d no so here the content of your b will be popped to your d register and c to the e register so what happens the content of your bc register pair or exchange with your d register pair what is the starting address of your interrupt service routine for rst 7.5 which is 003c the interrupt in an 8085 microprocessor that is not affected by the value of the interrupt enable flip flop is trap same as your question number 2 Which of the following statement is true for the sim instruction? So this is the format of your sim instruction. MVI A comma twenty nine. So this twenty nine will be moved to the sim instruction. So twenty nine is two zero zero one zero. So this is two and nine one zero zero one. So here this uh, this is nothing but this not used. So we are not uh, going to bother about your upper nibble here. then this is going to be one so here mask set enable so if i want to enable the mask of 7.5 6.5 5.5 this should be enable and then here if one is now marked so 5.5 is marked so rst 5.5 interrupt is masked which of one of the following instruction is similar to rst 7 it's call 0038 which of the following interrupts is edge sensitive it's rst 7.5 And which one of the following is not true? So, AT eighty six is a eight sixteen bit microprocessor. True, it is having one megabytes of address space because your address length is twenty. So, two power twenty is one megabyte, and it works in two mode. That is min mode and then max mode, minimum mode and then the maximum mode. So, all these three is true. So, which is not true is so dedicated internal clock register. What is the size of the instruction queue in 8086 microprocessor? It's six byte. Which for of which of the following flag is not present in 8085? So sign zero and parity is present. So direction flag is not present in 
it is present in 8086. So here, which of the following 8086 instruction utilizes the implied addressing mode? It is STC set to carry here. This name is it's in the mnemonics itself uh, it says what action it has to be performed without any help of your data or your ad address. That's your call implied addressing mode. So this uh, jump uh, jump on node 015, it's a direct addressing mode. So the where it has to jump uh, the, for the condition to is given. So direct and then move CX, BX. It's an indirect addressing mode. And then move DL, 08. It's a immediate addressing modes. And uh, now uh, this is, uh, I'm going to start the series of uh, lectures for uh, this particular uh, subject, uh, digital principles and system designs, which is uh, going to have this five units. So I'm going to release the videos for this one. So from 13th of October. So those who want to learn digital principles and system designs with this uh, following uh, unit in detail, you can watch my video. Subscribe my video channel for automatic updates. Thank you. Have a nice day.